The RSR bull run could be so amazing. I mean, it's 29 times lower than its all-time high price. Crazy to think about how just last year when RSR was at six cents, seven cents, eight cents, everyone was screaming at the top of their lungs to buy RSR. They thought it was so amazing. They thought it was so revolutionary. And now when the price of RSR is low, everyone is saying, oh yeah, oh, RSR is done, which is so insane to think about because RSR is actually fundamentally better right now than what it was last year. You know, last year, there was no such thing as the reserve app RPay planning to go to Mexico. There was no such thing as RPay being planned to launch in 18 different Latin American countries. I mean, there was none of this whatsoever last year. A lot of people like to hate on a crypto project just simply because the price is low, which is such a weird way of thinking in my opinion. Personally speaking, when I want to invest in a crypto project, I take a look at its fundamentals, at its utility, at its longevity, and also what it's trying to achieve. Because for example, right now we're in a bear market. Yeah, RSR is down in terms of price, but I can't just assume that it's bad fundamentally just because the price is low. Personally speaking, the team behind a crypto project and its fundamentals will win over over short-term price movements any day of the week. I truly do believe that because, you know, price movements, they're so volatile. It's unpredictable. I mean, who could have predicted the FTX crash, Celsius, Terra Luna? I mean, all of this stuff is really hard to predict. So if I'm investing in a crypto project based on its day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month price movement, I mean, I could essentially get wrecked really easily. That is why, again, right, anytime I invest in a crypto project, I am taking a long-term approach. The price can pump, it can dump, it doesn't matter. I'll keep buying anyways. And I have been buying RSR ever since last year. So keep in mind, RSR has dropped by a lot ever since last year, so I'm down by a lot. But doesn't matter, I keep dollar cost averaging into RSR anyways because I believe in the future of RSR and I believe in the future of the reserve protocol. And I believe in the future of RSR all the way to the next bull run and beyond. And why do I say that? Because one day when RSR gets linked to the reserve app RPay, I mean, that's a total game changer right there. I think at that point, RSR is truly gonna just rock the house. I think a lot of people are gonna get shocked at how amazing RSR is, especially when that day finally does happen. And the reserve app RPay is able to have an annual volume of over $3 billion a year, despite it only being available in five different countries as of right now. Just keep in mind, in the next one or two years, it's planned to be released in 18 different Latin American countries. I mean, just imagine that. And also on top of that, the reserve protocol is planning to go to Africa in the future. So just imagine one day in the future, you have Latin America, you have Africa. Just imagine the amazing numbers it would do then. I mean, at that point, it's just insanity and insanity in a good way, because I mean, just imagine what that would do in terms of the price for RSR, which is why I keep buying more and more RSR. The future just looks so amazing. It looks so bright and it looks so fantastic. Times of low prices truly test the mentality of the holders because just think about this when the prices are low morale you know just energy motivation everything is at an all-time low as well so that's when people are truly tested you know the paper hands are tested at that point however you have to think about this for example if you take a look at bitcoin you know bitcoin has been through multiple bear markets in the past but those who held through those bear markets they are the ones to enjoy the benefits right here right now because you have to keep in mind even with this bear market those who bought bitcoin back at one thousand dollars $5,000, even $10,000, they're still up on their Bitcoin investment. So in my opinion, those who actually held through times of low prices, those who held when people sold, I think they are the ones right now to be the winners. And that's not financial advice, but historically speaking, when it comes to the case of Bitcoin, that really is the case. And you know, recently I had a friend who sold his cryptos and I was kind of wondering like, why would you do that? I asked him, I said, hey, you don't really need the cash anyways. Why are you selling your cryptos? And he said, oh, I just don't like seeing the price low. It just doesn't look good. You know, I don't like losing. That's what he said. And I was just like, what? What is this guy even thinking about? Because in my opinion, a bear market is actually the worst time to sell ever. Now that's not financial advice, but I just don't get why you would sell when the price is low. At least, you know, that's what I think towards my friend. Makes no sense in my opinion whatsoever. And he doesn't need the money, by the way. I mean, he really doesn't need to, but I don't get why he sold it. And a lot of people, they act that way, right? When they see the price go down, they panic sell. And for whatever reason, of course, there are some people who actually need the money. I understand that. Again, not financial advice. But for example, in the case of my friend who just simply sold because the price is low, I think it makes no sense whatsoever. But hey, again, right, a lot of people do think that way, so it is what it is. And by the way, take a look at this right here. I mean, this isn't real, but someone made a concept drawing of a reserve card. I think it looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of the American Express black card. I'd love to get that card one day, by the way. But hey, that's besides the point. But it was posted by the Great Reserve L Lodge and... 
yeah, I have to admit, it does look really sleek, it looks really cool, and I would love for Reserve to make something like this in the future, I truly do. I mean, again, right, this isn't real, but I just thought it's pretty cool to share anyways. And by the way, I've been actually noticing that a lot of my viewers, when it comes to these RSR videos, are actually coming from the Netherlands, the Netherlands, Holland. And by the way, when it comes to Holland, when it comes to Netherlands, I actually have family members who live in Amsterdam. You know, I think Netherlands is an amazing, wonderful, and beautiful place. So for everyone watching from Holland, goede dag, bedankt voor watching, mijn naam Lee de Kapitein. So yeah, amazing. Thank you for watching and shout out again to the Netherlands. I hope that the Netherlands does well in the World Cup and shout out to Virgil van Dijk and Erik ten Hag. And I'm so excited for the next bull run. I mean, I really am. You know, when the next bull run happens, I'm going to take a look back at right now. I'm going to take a look back when, you know, when the price was low, when a lot of my friends were saying, oh, RSR is this, RSR is that. During the next bull run, I'm truly going to reflect on those moments and I'm going to be like, oh, wow, I'm glad I actually held and I'm glad that I actually bought more. Again, not financial advice, but that's just you know, what I want to do during the next bull run. I just kind of want to reminisce about these times right now. And you already know, the next bull run, I'm going to go to Sizzler, baby. I mean, I'm going to get that steak and unlimited shrimp combo. It's going to be the real deal. It's going to be amazing. Going to go there with my RSR earnings. Sizzler, here we go, baby. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing.